nobody notice me. I can't even go to sleep. I'm rolling on the beat. They try to get me, they got on my knees like Jesus, please. I'm balling on the sideline. Baby, I'm sorry. I ain't got time for the waste. Man, what it do, bro? Back with another video here, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before we get into this video, man, make sure I hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, man. So I'm trying to try and reach that, reach that milestone. You feel me? But uh, and share this video as well. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like as you read about the title, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's kind of bothered me. You know about what people be saying about somebody past, somebody die, whatever. People, people be saying people show fake love, which I'm, I'm not going to disagree with because people do show fake love, you know what I'm saying? But before we get into that, bro, rest in peace to Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Um, to be honest, I was, I was I, I never really fuck with Nipsey like that. That's not on, on no hating type stuff. It's just I never like got around to like really fuck with Nipsey like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I've seen him before, but I didn't know he was a rapper, to be honest. I thought he was like a, a fashion designer or you know, something like that. And then I never knew, like, all the stuff that he had going on in his life. I never knew he was doing all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I salute that, to be honest. Like, to be real. I salute that. Like, I'm mean, for real. Cause a lot of people don't, don't don't be out here doing stuff. Then he stayed in his same hood. Like, he, he blew up. But he stayed in his, in his hood. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, I want to talk about, like, people be saying, you know, matter, I was on Twitter, matter of fact. And I seen a, a tweet by Funny Mike. He was just like, Pretty much saying like, uh, people show fake love when you die, but when you hear, they don't, they don't show no love. And it's like, I'm, I'm agreeing to disagree, put it like that. I agree with what he's saying, because people do show fake love. Somebody die, they be trying to, get, trying to like get clout from it, or act like they fuck with this person so hard, and this and this and that. I agree with him on that part, but it's, it's some people that I hear that show love when somebody die, like people like me, I never knew about. Him. I mean, I never really like fuck with Nipsey like that. Cause I didn't know he was a rapper until like shit a couple days before he passed. So it's like, um, yeah, like I didn't I didn't know about him. So it's like when he died, my girl told me about it. When he died, I'm just like, you know, like damn for real. Cause I, like I pretty much just knew that that was Lauren London's husband. You know, pretty much, cause I, I I knew I seen him with her all the time, so I knew that was you know her husband. I'm just like I'm just like damn, that's fucked up. So when they say he died, I was just like damn, that's fucked. That's really really messed up. You feel what I'm saying? So I was just like you know what, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go listen to some of his music. So when I typed his name in on Apple Music, uh, Victory Lap popped up the album. Bro, let me tell you something. No cap, like this ain't no this ain't no fake stuff. This ain't no you know what I'm saying. Oh, he's just saying that to get some. No, this is like dead ass. I really fuck with the nigga music, like 100%. You feel what I'm saying? It's like it's hard to find rappers out here that's like that. You feel what I'm saying? Cause like I hate to just like. I'm not the type of person to where I just go out here and just listen to and listen to anybody. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say here for me. He's for me. He's a new. He's a new artist to me because I never listened to him. I know he. Been, I know he been in the game for a little minute, but. You know, like I be trying to find new rappers to put in my playlist music, like with music that's like how, like how his is. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like when I, I'm telling you, when I when I had first listen to that, the whole album is good. Like I'm not capping, like the whole album good. I listen to the whole album. Matter of fact, the, the night he the night he the day he died, that night I was riding around Houston and I, I played the whole album. I'm just riding. I'm just like, bro, this nigga really do go hard. Like no, like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And like just constantly listen to his music every day and the whole album. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, but this dude really, really do go hard. Like he, he kind of remind me of a young Snoop Dogg in a way. But you know, he rap a little different than Snoop. But bro, like Nip go hard, dog. Like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And then like I think my two favorite songs off the album is uh, Blue Laces Two and Double Up. And I like I like the song he got he got a young nigga he got the song with Kendrick Lamar I like that song too so it's just like but the whole album go hard you know what I'm saying it's just like it's like the reason I like Blue Laces too and Double Up better is because that's the kind of rap music that I like most of the time 
like something that you can kind of just ride to, vibe to, you know what I'm saying, just be chilling, you know, some chill type stuff. And you know what I'm saying, he got other songs that's kind of like more, with the, the beats faster and shit like that, but, bro, Nip go hard. Like, I'm, I'm so serious, bro, like, the dude go hard, bro. And like I said, once I, once I get myself back together, I'm gonna go on, on his website, I'm gonna purchase some merch, man, you know what I'm saying, because probably give me some sweaters, give me some t-shirts, like give me some beanies. Like, I'm, I'm a support, bro, because it's like, he was out here in the community doing all kind of stuff. Like, I didn't, I never knew that he was doing stuff like that until he passed. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I just like I said, I, I just thought he was a, a fashion designer or something. He was actually out here doing all this stuff. He stayed in his hood, bro. Like, he, like a lot of people, that when they, when they get, they get their money and they blow up, they leave their hood and they'll come back. The nigga stayed there, bro. He was helping people out, the community and all kind of stuff, bro. Yeah, nigga, he, a nigga that he so-called fuck with came back and, and killed him, bro. On, on, on some, on some, some hating type stuff. Like that's, that's why I be to myself a lot, bro. Like I don't really be around a lot of people like that. People like, man, why you go up, man? Get off, man. Niggas back here. Niggas be, bro. Niggas are snakes out here, bro. Niggas you think you fuck with? They, they out here just killing, just, just doing whatever, man. To be honest, I, I'm, to be honest, I can say I only got like. Maybe three people that I really mess with, like, really, like hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only like probably three people that I really mess with that's kind of like, that's like, like, I fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, we don't talk all the time, but we know that, we, we know what it is. Like, we know we out here trying, trying to do what we gotta do. We out here trying to grind. So, like, we know, we know, we know what the business is. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really like being around a lot of people that are like, it's because it's, it's, it's sad, but the nigga, he was to himself, he seemed like he was a laid back, chill type dude, family man, businessman, trying to make money in any kind of way possible. You know what I'm saying? He had a wife, he had kids, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, a nigga take his fucking life. Like, it's crazy because his, his daughter, I think that was no, his son, his son was with him when he got shot. It's crazy because they had a picture. He had took the picture before he got shot. And, and like his his business partner was saying on, on the thing, he was pretty much saying like, you know, yeah, the, the dude that shot him came up and shook his hand. You know what I'm saying? He went he went into the store, got, got his food, and he left. And then he was just like, that's when I had went in the store to get my food. He was like, I wasn't even in the store three seconds, and I heard gunshots. And go back outside, nigga, the shot nips it just that quick. It's like, bro, come on, man, all that hating type, like you can't get you can't get upset. Cause a nigga went out here and, and, and made a way for himself and his family, but you still in the hood doing nothing. Like I don't know if you expect I don't know if you expect him to 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 pretty much just give you money or, or take care of you or whatever the case may be. But nigga, it don't work like that. You a whole you a whole nigga out here. You know what I'm saying? You you a whole dude out here. Like ain't nobody finna be. You know? I mean, I ain't gonna say like maybe maybe if they was like close close, it's a different story. But the way shit was is looking, they wasn't that close. They, they was associates, but they wasn't just like they wasn't just like this. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I don't know if he is ex expecting Nipsey to to do some form, but, but they were saying like Nipsey confronted him about a situation about him snitching or something like that, bro. I don't know. There's so much stuff going around. One 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 uh, article says somebody the government killed him. Then they saying that the black dude killed him, but they saying the government hired him to do it. It's just like, there's so much stuff going around. But honestly, bro, I think it was just some hate type stuff. I don't think the government had nothing to do with it. They were saying something about, you know, he supposed to be releasing a documentary about uh, Dr. S Dr. Sebi, about health and stuff like that. And they were saying the government, you know, they want it to happen. But it, it's like, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's just like, why would they hire a nigga to go kill somebody like Nip? You know what I'm saying? It's, come on, man, it, it don't even make sense, bro. The nigga, he killed, he killed him because he was hating pretty much. Or he felt some kind of way or whatever. He was he was something like that. The motive was pretty much hate or something like that. He, he seemed like he was a laid back, shield type dude, but he seemed like he would never no mess. The nigga lost his life. He probably, a regular typical day, he'd get up, you know what I'm saying? Kiss his wife, kiss his kids. He head out, go to his store, try to, you know what I'm saying? And then they say he was going to the store to help uh, one of his friends out there just got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the nigga came around and killed him, bro. It's just like, you just never know when your last day will be. It's just like, it's a, a t you, you think that it won't happen to you, but bro, trust me, anything can happen. 
you could be out walking somewhere, nigga run up on you, kill you, rob and kill you. You could be at Walmart at, at nighttime, get out the car, or finna get in the car, nigga run up, shoot you, kill you, rob you, all that. Like stuff can happen, bro. Like and it's it's crazy because it's like, bro, it's it's crazy, man. Like and like y'all know I'm a big young boy fan. This nigga gonna move back to, to Baton Rouge. And we all know rappers die in their city. So it's just like, I don't understand why he even moved back. I mean, it's, it's really, really nothing there in Baton Rouge, if you, if you think about it. Probably his, his kids might be there, I'm not sure. I mean, I can't knock him for going back to his kids. But other than that, bro, it's just like, niggas, niggas, like, niggas die in their own city, bro. And it's like, I'm tired of seeing like young talent, young good talent losing their lives. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, bro. Like, honestly, Nipsey was 33, but he was still young. I mean, he wasn't even 40 years old yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, young boy lost his life. You know what I'm saying? Bankroll. Like, all them niggas lost their life, bro. It was some, it's crazy. It's just, niggas just kill, like, I hear just reckless, bro. That's why I meet it myself a lot. Niggas be, niggas be wanting to hang with a lot of niggas all the time, but it's like, I mean, I beat it myself, bro. Solo, dolo. I go home, I got a couple of homeboys at home. You know what I'm saying? That I, I kick it with. But other than that, I mean, I'm to myself, bro, for real. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. But, you know. And it's like, to say I never really fucked with Nipsey like that before he died, it's like, I feel like I knew him. I feel like, I feel like I've been listening to his music. Cause like, when I started listening to, listening to his music, I kind of started feeling this, feeling it a little bit more. Cause it's, I'm just like, damn, I really fuck with this nigga music and what he's saying. And it's like, I feel like I know the dude, bro. And it's just like, it's crazy, man. This dude lost his life over some, some petty stuff, dog. Like, he was doing so much in the community. He was just like, bro, it's, just, it's sad, bro. Like, you know, man, a lot, like a lot of athletes, you know what I'm saying, waiting on, on the situation. You know, uh, mainly like Russell Westbrook. That's a, like Russell Westbrook, he went out and got 20, 20, 20 in the game. Sales for me, you know what I'm saying? Bron supporting him. She way support everybody. I lost a lot of athletes in the NBA supporting him. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, like I never knew he had that kind of impact. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like it's because there's so many people in the world, bro. It's so much stuff that you that you go on that you have you, you got going on in your life. But a lot of times you don't really get around to certain stuff to us, or to notice certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like now that I kind of know more about them, it's just like. Like, people like that are the ones that's losing their lives. It's, and it's sad, bro. The ones that's out here trying to, like, make a, make a better way for people. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. They the ones that's losing their lives. They're the people we need in the world. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, bro, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't really question what God got planned. So, you know, it's just like, I don't know, man. That's just, like, just like G Money, the rapper G Money, when he died. Uh, Fredo Bang was saying that uh, G was in Baton Rouge for him to get released from prison. Like, you know, because Fredo Bang was in prison at the time, and he was finna get released. And G Money came to back to Baton Rouge for, for him to get released. And that's when he got shot. He was in the studio or something one, uh, one night. They killed him in the parking lot. It's just like, niggas be down in their own city, bro. It's just like, you know. Young boy moved back to back, moved back to Baton Rouge, man. I'm hoping that nobody try to kill him. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I don't know, bro. It's like then, like Master P, that's in a video of Master P. God, damn, they must be racing on the highway. Watching that video of Master P, he was just saying like, you know, him personally, like he left the hood. He got his money, he left the hood, man. Cause niggas gonna hit on you. Even some of the niggas you used to hang with, slang dope with, rob people with, you know. But when you come up and you leave, or, 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 or even if you come up and you stay, the niggas be hating on you. It's like, like niggas can't get mad because you came, you did what you got to do. You came up, you know, rapping, or you came up hooping, or you came up singing, or just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be hating it. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. Like, it's just, bro, I don't know, man. That's why I be to myself, bro. Like, I don't know, man, but, but that's just how the world is nowadays. It's, it's crazy, bro. You gotta protect yourself, because if you don't, I mean, you, you can, somebody, like when you least expect it, bro, somebody can run up on you, kill you, 
you know, not even just that. You can have car accidents. You can, you can, you're not taking care of your body. You can, like, you know, your body can shut down on you. Like, just all kind of stuff, man. Like, just, you just got to be careful, more aware, and more, you know, more focused on, and, and it's like, I'm not saying that to, like, live your life in fear, because you can't enjoy life living your life in fear, but it's just a simple fact that you still got to, you you still got to look out for yourself at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You could be out at Walmart one night or typical, like say you like you go to Walmart every Wednesday or something at the nighttime when you get off. You probably used to just doing the same thing over and over and over again. But in your mind, you're not thinking that, oh, I can get robbed, like, somebody can kill me, or I can, I, can, I can have a car accident or anything. You're not really thinking that because it's like when it's happening every day or every Wednesday, you, know, you get used to it. And it's just like, you know, you're not really thinking about nothing happening. But that's that's when you least that's that's when stuff really really happens when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? But you know man. Like, y'all got we got stuff woke out here, man. It's just like and like I really I, I really wanna get more into like being more aware of things and being more woke and just talking about, you know, just learning more things. Cause like I it's like the more you know the better, bro. Like I wanna I wanna learn so much more stuff. Like all the stuff Nipsey was talking about. Matter of fact, when I get done watching, when I get done with this video, I'm gonna look at some of his interviews and you know, see what he's talking about. And just, I wanna learn a whole lot of stuff, but like, it's good to know stuff. It's, knowledge is good. Cause you know, it could be any situation you could be in. If you know stuff, you're good. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, man, I ain't gonna talk to you more, man. This, I really wanted to like, you know, just talk about that, that, that subject about people saying people show fake love which is true but at the same time some people really don't know about a certain person until something happens to them and that's just what it is there's so many people in the world you can't you can't expect somebody to know about just that's just like just just like because i know about uh let's say just because i know about young boy don't mean my brother know about young boy i mean he, he, even though he does he put me on, on young boy but it's just, what I'm, I'm saying is like just because i know about a certain person don't mean this person know about that person you can't really say, then like, if something happened to that person and they start liking the person, you can't really say that, oh, that's fake love because it's like, you never, they never really got around to that person to really like hear their music or, or anything, it's just anything like that. So, I mean, yeah, man, that's what it is, bro. Um, make sure y'all like this video, comment, comment y'all, you know, y'all, y'all thoughts, comment what y'all think about what I'm talking about. Or just comment, you know, y'all condolences, just anything. But just comment down below. Uh, I respond back. Uh, share this video. Uh, so, and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. And before I go, bro, rest in peace with Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, you really was a great dude. Like, really just knowing, kind of just figuring out who he really is from what, I've, from what I'm seeing. Like, he, he is a really... Uh, a great dude, like, you know, he stayed in his hood to, to help the community out, and a lot of people don't do that, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, oh, and shout out to Jay-Z, too, Jay-Z, he, he, he put he put a $15 million uh, fund for Nipsey Hussle Kids, too, so shout out to Jay-Z for that, it's like, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's cool right there, you know what I'm saying, but rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, man, um, that's all I got. I'll let y'all later, bro. Dang.